A startling number today. More than 400,000 missing children reports are filed every single year in this country. Today, Western New Yorkers dusting off their bicycles to ride 100 miles in support of those children. This ride will benefit the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent was at New Era Field in Orchard Park this morning to catch Western New Yorkers gearing up for the bike track. And they're off. More than 100 cyclists starting a 100-mile journey with a mission. Make our children safer one child at a time. I have three small children, and I can't imagine anything um, happening to them, so it's a great cause. The ride benefits the Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Each rider wears the name of a child loved ones are desperately trying to find. Names like Scott Byrne, who was abducted by his own mother after his father won custody. On the very first unsupervised supervised visitation, my mother kidnapped me. Uh, we traveled the world for uh, two years, living in five countries, 13 different residencies, uh, constantly changing names. I never went to school. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children also handles cases of runaways, working through more than 20,000 missing children's cases a year. And this 100-mile ride benefits our local chapter. When we raise money here in our community, the money stays here in our community. And what we focus on here in Buffalo is is prevention education. So we are out every day in schools talking with kids, parents, law enforcement. Riders will make stops throughout the day at local schools sharing safety tips for students. I think it's going to be um, a lot of camaraderie and a lot of hard work and really a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. At the end of the day, hopefully the message is clear. Here in Western New York and across the country, children need our help so they can grow up and share a message like Scott's. It's about survival instead of remaining a victim. Reporting in Orchard Park, Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News.